How's it going and welcome back to James Chats. I have with me the wonderful Neil McNeil. Hi. I want to talk about Once Upon a Time. Yes, please. There will be spoilers for seasons one through four in this. So if you have not caught up, pause the video, go watch however many episodes you have left, come back and resume the video. That would be some commitment right there. That would. We are going to list off our favorite hero, our favorite villain, and as a little bonus, we're gonna name our favorite supporting actor character uh, thing. thing. We're gonna start with the, the supporting character. Three, two, one. Moon Red Riding Hood. Oh. oh. <laughs> I miss Red. I really do miss Red. Same. She got, the actress got like a lead part on a show on a different network, which is why she doesn't come around anymore, but yeah. I miss her. She should just come back to Storybrooke at some point because her story yeah. was always so like, it was so interesting to see like Red Riding Hood be the, the wolf. wolf. Yeah, that was the, the, the thing that got me. I was like, whoa! I was <laughs> floored by that, and I love a good plot twist. Yeah, I'd say Red is probably my favorite. Mm -hmm. um, Which is funny, because I've always shipped Red with Mulan. Oh. Like, I would love to see the two of them get together. That's why, that, like, that's one of the main reasons couple. I love Mulan, is because, like, they did such a cool thing with her character where they're like, yeah, like, she was not into uh, the prince the entire time. Mm -hmm. She was into Sleeping Beauty. Yeah. That. And that was just so heartbreaking to watch. And apparently she's coming back this season. Ooh. She's coming back for a few episodes and they're also going to have her in the later half of this season. So like she's gonna become a regular character now. And they also said they're gonna have like their first LGBT romance on the show. Ooh. So I'm hoping it's nice. her and I'm hoping it's Merida. Oh. Cause they're introducing her this season too. Okay. I get some honorary mentions. Okay. Grumpy. Oh, Grumpy. I love Grumpy. Also the fairy that Grumpy <laughs> fell in love with Amy Acker? Yeah. Yeah. Like that was so- Where the heck is she? Bring her back. Yeah. Bring her back. Let him be dreamy again. I loved dreamy. I also loved um, Little Mermaid. Ariel. Ariel. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go on to our favorite hero. Okay. Three, two, one. August. Henry. The reason I like Henry so much right now is because he's grown so much from season one. Mm -hmm. Season one, I was like, we have to get rid of this kid. Yeah. Like, do some <laughs> sort of like so time bad. jump, whatever. Like age him somehow, like 20 years. Yeah. Like, hey, if Emma can be the same age as her mother, Henry can be the same age as Emma. Like that was my rationale. You saw his character grow. You saw him grow as an actor. And like, you kind of saw, like, especially with this last season finale that he's, spoiler alert. Yeah. Now the author. That was uh, that was honestly that the, was the thing that was making him almost my favorite hero. Like I'm so excited to see where this next season takes him and like what he chooses to do or not do with that power. The second to last episode of the season, I was like, is he gonna be the author? It was like vaguely in my mind, and then at the end when it was like laying on the ground, he was like looking at it. I thought he was gonna be the new apprentice, the new magician's apprentice, like Mickey. Really? In, Fa in Fantasia, yeah. That's another honorary mention. The, the Apprentice is one of my faves. He's, oh yeah. He's so great. He is so great. And I love Sorcerer Mickey, so there's that connection. Oh yeah. <laughs> my favorite like Disney reference ever was when Emma went by Princess Leia. Yeah! In, in the episode when she yes. first went to fairy telling. Oh my god, I died. I died at that. I was, I was like, so she's happy. technically a Disney princess, so. Yeah. I'm so torn between so many of the heroes, um, but August, he's just such a cool character. Yeah. He's like one of the only ones who came from the outside world. And that wasn't like a, who is that? Who who are you? That was like a really big deal. For a while, you're like, is he a villain? Is he a good guy? I don't know. He's just a really He's a cool really character. Really good and guy. he just came back. I and know. I'm so stoked. I think my other honorary mention would have to be, and this is such a cop out, Emma, but now she's a villain. Yeah. And I'm kind of scared, but like, you see, especially like they, they've been teasing with this season that like she's gonna really try to fight it, mm -hmm. which is gonna make her even stronger of a hero. Also, I'm really interested to see what happens with Rumpel. Yeah. Now that they've taken all the dark, like they've put a white heart in him. <sighs> What's the happening there? When he wakes up, is he, things is he are gonna, gonna be weird. Is he gonna still have magic or is he gonna go back to being non-magical because he wasn't <sighs> magical before he was a dark one? I don't know. I don't know if he could live with that. <sighs> this is gonna, it's good. Season five. I'm ready for you. <laughs> on to our favorite villain. Okay. Three, two, one. Peter Maleficent. Pan. Peter Pan was a very close second for me. Right. Maleficent was up there for me as well. Maleficent was a great character just because it was like, it was another one of those tragic things where it's like she didn't get her child and that's all she wanted was her child. And she started and... off as like such like a, just like a bad character. You were like, we do not like Maleficent. Like yeah. she is not a good person. And then you really got to see over the course of a few seasons, like, 
oh, like she, she's seen some stuff, man. Yeah. Like she's been through some stuff. Yeah. Hopefully we get more moments of Maleficent, like kind of going the Regina route where she like realizes yeah. that you don't have to be bad and that you mm -hmm. can also be good. Hopefully she will find her way to the light. Yeah, because she can turn into a dragon. Yeah, <laughs> which is, as bad as that CGI is, is still super cool. Yeah, no, that's really bad CGI. <laughs> Peter Pan, I, I love that. That was such a the that, whole Neverland, the whole it was realm. A cool it was twist to the character. It was just so great. It was just so great, and the fact that he was Rumpelstiltskin's father, and technically Henry's great grandpa. It's so confusing. <laughs> There's this one Tumblr account that like recaps every episode of Once Upon a Time, but using clip art of the original Disney characters that they're based <laughs> off of. That season with Neverland has some of the best reimaginings of this. And since Henry isn't anyone in the story, mm -hmm. they use Olaf for him. <laughs> and Emma is just Emma. He is the reason why Rumpel is such a coward and a horrible person. Yeah. He is the origin yeah. of basically these, this entire story. Yeah. Honorary mention for me though, um, Cruella de Vil. I would have loved to have seen more of her because she was just so like uniquely wicked. Yeah. Also the Wicked Witch. Like as I'm... silly as that character is and as like silly as that whole story, like tying into like, oh, like I'm your half sister, blah, blah, blah. It's like, it, they just did it so well. I hate her. <laughs> <laughs> no, the twist with Maid Marian where you're like, by the way, I'm Zelina. That was so classic soap opera that I just like had to applaud them. And I'm like, how did you, did you know going into this that that was who that was? Let us know in the comment section down below, who is your favorite hero, villain, and supporting character? In the comment section down below. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you head over to his channel because we did a gay lingo challenge yep. and I did Great. <laughs> you did your best, and that's I, all that matters. I put forth an effort, and <laughs> things happened. So make sure you go watch that. Link will be in the description below, or you can click the info card up somewhere. Other than that, thank you again for watching, and I will see you all next time.